from a silly little online feud that turned lethal to Tiger Woods being caught up in all the drama. Here's everything you need to know about Paige Sporanek's feud with Haley Ostrom. Starting off with how it all went down. Let's throw it back to two years ago, when Amanda Rose posted a tweet online where she praised Tiger Woods, calling him the ultimate girl dad. In her tweet, Rose wrote that Woods' legacy as a father might just be far superior to that as a golf player, and that it was pretty darn cool that his daughter Sam would be the one introducing him at his World Golf Hall of Fame induction ceremony, which took place last year in 2022. Now, all of this seems lovely, right? Just a wholesome nod to a sweet father-daughter moment. Well, wrong. Haley Ostrom didn't think Tiger was worthy of that kind of praise. See, Ostrom has higher expectations for a great girl's dad. And let's just say, in her opinion, Tiger's not one of them. In a reply to Amanda, she wrote that while she does love Tiger today, but she can't just disregard what happened in 2009. According to her, a girl's dad should be a walking example of the kind of man their daughter deserves and that her own dad, Mark Ostrom, set the bar pretty high for her. She concluded the tweet by saying that no matter what, Tiger's just not in the same category as what a girl's dad should be, and implied that at the end of the day, the whole sentiment behind Amanda's tweet was wrong. Now, while I agree that everyone's entitled to their own opinion, I think we should talk about exactly why Haley's not too fond of Tiger. See, back in 2009, Tiger Woods was smack dab in the middle of controversy. According to a report in the National Enquirer, Woods had an affair with New York nightclub hostess Rachel Ukitel, but back then, no one knew that it wasn't his first time cheating on his wife, Elin Nordegren. Apparently, after his wife confronted him, he tried to flee the scene, but in doing so, he ended up crashing his car in front of his Florida mansion at 2 a.m. After that, somehow, more and more reports of his infidelity went viral. With not just one or two women, because Tiger had a string of flings while he was still married to his wife. Mind you, this man had just welcomed his son Charlie in 2009. And their daughter Sam? Yeah, the one who was honoring him at the Hall of Fame ceremony? She was barely two years old when her father was basically on an all-out sex rampage. So I guess you can probably see why Haley wasn't so on board with the whole best girl dad thing. Sure, Tiger's been able to rebuild his rapport after his whole sex scandal, but in the day and age of social media, there's honestly not much that you can hide or run away from. However, still, despite his shortcomings, the 47-year-old still has lots and lots of fans in golf. And one of them just so happens to be Paige Sporanek. Now, obviously, when someone tries to throw shade at one of your idols, you kind of get defensive, right? Because that's exactly what happened when Ostrom tried to tear Tiger down in public. While Amanda did reply to Haley and commented that she wasn't expecting the rookie to be so uptight, for someone who has a sex is cool and all tweet pinned on their profile, Paige thought she'd have her fun too, sporanic style. She jumped into the argument to defend Tiger and responded to Amanda's tweet by saying that she had blocked Haley and her father once for talking smack about her brand and how she's built her business. She said that Haley's dad called her a bad role model, and because of everything the father daughter duo has said about her over the years, she blocked them to get rid of the negativity. Paige wrote that it's easy to pass judgment but it shows great character to learn from mistakes, obviously referencing Tiger Woods and his efforts at redemption. She concluded her reply by saying that calling someone a bad parent was low, and Haley had no right to make such comments. However, that didn't exactly put out the fire, because Haley clapped back in an instant. In her reply to Sporanic, she wrote that it's easier to play the victim and to say that she and her dad were mean. Whereas in reality, Haley and Paige had only had a simple difference of opinion regarding feminism, which she finds laughable, by the way. And because of their little disagreement, Paige had ended up blocking Haley after a private conversation in their DMs. She also added that she never called Sporanic any names, nor did she ever put her down. Of course, Paige didn't stop either. She continued that it was, in fact, Haley's dad who had sent her a DM on Instagram and that her outrage had nothing to do with their little disagreement in private, but was about how she made comments behind her back. Paige later went on and said that since Ostrom had told Amanda that women shouldn't put other women down in a conversation once, it was hard to believe that she still had a lot to say about herself to other people. Yikes! Things definitely got super heated between these two, and the fans were already picking sides. After that, though, Haley surprisingly decided to call a truce. 
While she did tell Paige that she loved to see the DM her father had apparently sent her, she also apologized, saying, it was probably a misunderstanding on Sporanic's part if she thought a comment Haley had made on a post was about her. At the end of the day, that was something that had happened way back in 2018 or 2019, and she was genuinely sorry for offending her. For her, both golfers had the same overall goal in the sport, and that was to grow the game. While there was no comment from Paige after that, still, I think after a public feud like this, there's bound to be some bad blood there. Though despite all that, the two have been focusing on their own careers, and from the looks of it, they seem pretty happy too. Would you actually carry it? Because that's really going to help you during your rounds. Because if you're like, oh, I carry my 8-iron 170, and you really carry it 155, and you know you only carry 155. While Sporanic played for the University of Arizona and San Diego State University in her college days, she turned pro soon after her college days ended. She made her pro debut at the Omega Dubai Ladies Classic in 2015, but retired a year later from professional golf at the age of 29. Currently, she's enjoying her status as a social media influencer. And in January 2023, she even launched a subscriber-only website by the name of Only Page. The website features instructional content and never-before-seen photos from her. And from the looks of it, it seems like her side hustle's doing well. Now, as far as Haley's concerned, she's been blessed with a successful career at the junior level. And, well, she isn't wrong. After winning multiple championships, she was able to reach the podium in the 2016 NCAA Division III National Championship, and later won four tournaments during her senior year at college. Currently, she's moved to Scottsdale, Arizona, where she competes professionally on the Cactus Tour, with the dream of playing on the LPGA Tour. As far as the future of the two golf stars is concerned, in a recent episode of her podcast, Playing Around, Sporanic admitted that if she had the choice to be doing what she is right now, she's the best player on the LPGA Tour by a mile. However, that's not how life works, and she's okay being an influencer and golf instructor for now. As for Haley, she's also pretty active on all social media platforms, giving golf-related advice on her YouTube channel. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. I know it's been so long since I've posted. You know, my first year doing YouTube, I did not miss a single Wednesday of posting. And flaunting her golf tactics on Instagram. While all of that does bring her joy, she still hasn't quit her dream to play in the LPGA, but is hopeful that she might be able to someday. With that, that was everything about Paige Sporanic's feud with Haley Ostrom.